one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Body suits in my try on haul. In my try on haul. Body suits in my try on haul. In my try on haul. Head high, chest up, and catch that brain. Cause you is my name. What is up, beauty gang? Beauty gang. I am too childish for this chair. Alright, let me stop. So I am back with a. I'm a little bit busy. So I am back with a try on haul. I think, yeah, the first try on haul of 2018 featuring Zoffel clothing. It's a lot, okay? It's a lot. So I'm not gonna do all that yip yap and talk and it's no point. You're gonna see me try on the clothes, bottom line. Just real quick though, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and join Beauty Gang. Hit that subscribe button right now. We'll take about a good five to 10 seconds for you. Just real quick and hit that bell button while you are down there. Come on now, you're making everybody wait. All seriousness, hit the subscribe button if you are new. Make sure you are giving this video a thumbs up right now. Let's hop right into this video. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start with the jacket. So the first jacket I got is this really cute white and black faux fur teddy bear. I think they call it like a teddy bear style type of jacket that I'm in love with. It was actually in my recent winter outfits lookbook that is on my channel. I'll link it at the top. But I made a fire outfit with it. You can make multiple fire outfits with it and it's decently warm. You know, I think the thing that I like the most about this jacket is the leather detailing is so unique. Having it on the arms, down the zipper part. It's a very unique jacket. I've never seen a jacket like this before. So when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that thing. Next jacket I got is actually, I thought online it looked like a white jacket, but now that I see it in person, it's more of a cream jacket. I love the gold detailing. I love gold, absolutely love gold. And that's one thing that really stuck out to me besides the fact that I don't have a white leather jacket yet. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, and the gold is popping. And then the bonus that really sold me is that this can turn into a vest. And I thought that was really dope. I am disappointed though that I got this jacket in an extra large. I make sure like I get most of my jackets that are online in extra large. And look how short this is. So I'm, I don't know. Like I can pull it off, but my arms already like barely been in this so I was disappointed about that this is an extra large so I don't know how much bigger I should have went for it to fit comfortably oh my gosh my big old hands don't want to come out of this doggone jacket about to break a nail next jacket is this but well inside is faux fur I was gonna say faux fur jacket inside is a really nice soft faux fur but outside is a burnt orange corduroy I thought that was really really cute and unique and it's cropped like I usually don't see any crop jackets anywhere and I was like okay not too bad only downside is that these sleeves are also kind of short not kind of they're short all right they're just short and I have long limbs like I will say but I'm still gonna rock this jacket just because I've never seen anybody have a jacket like this I love that it's cropped the material feels really good it isn't a winter jacket though I will say that this is definitely springtime all right next up are these hoodies I got about four hoodies so the first one I'm gonna show is this gray cropped hoodie it's actually not as cropped as I would like I kind of wanted it to be a little bit shorter so I will probably end up cutting it shorter and the sleeves are decent I'm not gonna complain about the sleeves I will say this is definitely a very 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 thin material it will not keep you warm at all and although the cropped part of it the cut part of it is neat you can tell somebody just took scissors or whatever across it like they didn't hem it back up if that makes sense you can tell that it's like been cut and they didn't like hem it back like that so it shows like that it just shows like that not a big deal I'm not really picky like that so it's not a big deal to me but I just want to give you guys fair warning about that I did snag another gray hoodie but this is a more like charcoal gray and it is velvet and it has three stripes proudly false flagging adidas okay no shame in my game it does feel like a very warm material both inside and outside i am disappointed in the string though one i would have preferred it to be white to match the stripes but it also looks chewed up like somebody beat the strings behind like i don't know what that's about or how that even happened you guys see that that looks really bad. That looks really, really bad. So I think I'm actually just gonna end up going to Walmart, buying some white string and putting it through the hood so it'll have white string instead of this raggedy 
black string. All right, so these next two hoodies, this white one and this black one, I'm gonna just talk about them together because they're the same exact style, um, just different colors. And I actually got them from the men's section and I was going for an oversized hoodie look. So I ordered them both in an extra large, but they fit me as if they were like a medium or a large and a woman's size. So they're definitely not oversized at all like I thought they would be. And they are very thin. Like I kind of would have wanted them to be thicker. And the white hoodie in particular is definitely see-through. Like I can see my fingers through it as I'm talking about it right now. So just make sure you aren't really wearing like a bright, colorful neon bra or anything underneath it because it will tell on you. So out of everything that I got, I only got one pair of pants. I'm really terrified of like ordering pants from online for multiple reasons. But I saw these sweats and they looked super comfortable online. I got them in a large and honestly, I kind of wish I would have went a size bigger because they fit. But like if I have gained like three, four, five more pounds, it's not gonna look cute, okay? It's not gonna be a cute situation at all. And the bottom part where it, it like stops down there is very tough. It won't cut off your circulation, but I wish it was a little bit more loose. Like, it is hot for real. But yeah, my booty looks pretty good in it, so I won't complain about the booty. I do like the color. And the material is like very stretchy, but a thick stretchy. It feels like a very thick spandex, almost like a dry fit material. So, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight body suits in my try-on haul. In my try-on haul. Body suits in my try-on haul. In my try-on haul. Okay, not really one, two. Three, four, I got four. Three of the same type of style, so I will go ahead and show you those first. I got one in black, I got one in green, mm, olive green, and I got one in heather gray. You know, the people that are really into fashion, they want to get all specific and stuff. This is a heather gray. All these are just a straight across camisole bodysuit really cute fits very nicely especially if you're a part of the itty bitty titty committee like your girl it looks really really nice with our lack of boobage i guess you would say because it gives us a little bit more boost and it like holds them down and like it fits every curve so our little boobies can kind of have a little bit of shine i guess you could say but yeah the whole straight across cami tops or bodysuits are really in style right now now the other bodysuit that i got is also black but it is a little Little risque because it crisscrosses in the back and it has a low dip in the back which I really like it also has that straight across style but I would wear this more so like in the summertime where I can have my back all out and stuff and people be like oh look at her back I need to start working out y'all cuz I don't need them to see them back rows. Only thing I will say though, the crisscross in the back was a little bit odd. I kind of had a hard time figuring out how it was supposed to like do it because it doesn't have a stopper at the end. So you do have to end up tying it together for the bodysuit to be a complete bodysuit. Now moving on to the t-shirts, t-t-shirts. I noticed that graphic tees are starting to be like a big thing as of lately. I'll grab both of these because they both are like very similar. So I got this graphic tee that says Rocket Fries on it. I thought it was really cute and I love that it has the crew neck collar because you know some t-shirts have that really like low saggy neck like a baby's been hanging on it and I don't like those type of t-shirts so I really liked and appreciated the crew neck t-shirt. I see a lot of people like wear graphic tees with like leather pants now or throw it on with a leather jacket. They just make it look really stylish. So I was like, let me try something a little bit different. So I got that one that has the fries on it and I got one that says Space Shake, really cute. They're both really cute shirts, both crew neck style. And then the last t-shirt I got, well, it's not really a t-shirt, but it's a shirt, is this cropped heather gray ribbed top that I thought was really cute because on all the openings of the top there's fringe around it. It fits really nicely and I think it's just a really pretty basic color. I'm very much so obsessed with like buying basic clothes as of lately so this will match with really anything. Alright so I have kind of already started shopping for spring slash summer even though we're still in the winter time. I got this red ribbed tank top. I got a black one in my last Zoffa haul too that I 
I wore and I thought it was really cute. It's definitely a high crop top. So really high waist pants will look really nice with this. I love like the line details that goes down kind of the middle of each boob almost. And then this too has fringe at the bottom of it. I guess fringe is kind of in as of lately I've noticed. I also got another, man, I have a lot of, I think I'm good on the straight across cami tops or body suits now because I got a white one as well. In the last alpha haul I had a black one. I like the way it fit. So I got a white one. But as I said in the last alpha haul as well, I really don't like how the straps of these type of tops don't have any stretch to them. The band around the top of the top is a little bit more stretchy than that black one was. But even so, I really hate how it has like no give because it kind of almost fits uncomfortably depending on how I'm wearing it. Now I also ended up getting this ribbed turtleneck crop top that's olive green and I like how it like curves in in the front and then curves back out to make sure your boobs are covered but I definitely don't think this is the type of top where you should be like doing a lot of movements in because you never want like a boob to pop out on the side or anything like that. The slight detailing on the back is super cute to me too because if you got a long neck like me okay and you decide to like have an updo with this type of top you want it to look presentable or nice back there so I'm glad that they put like a little bit of design or detail back there for this top. As for this razor white top I actually I don't think I clicked through all the pictures when I was ordering it because I didn't know that it had this like I don't even know what you would call it it's not really see-through but you know I didn't know it had this detail on the side of it that shows more skin than I would have liked I just fell in love with like the razor part of it where it cuts in and then curves back out but the sides have a little bit of skin showing which isn't horrible but like I said I need to get in the gym and get rid of these back rolls because I'm not cute that's not about to be cute little rolls popping through each of these little sockets now I have nothing left but tube tops I got this black tube top now this is a really short one that either I'll wear in the summer if my stomach is really on fleek or I just wear it around the house but do you even call this a tube top or a bando do they call it bando or something either way it has a decent amount of stretch to it it has a thick band so it's not going anywhere in terms of like jumping up and down moving around and stuff like that I also got another black tube top but this one has two white stripes on the side almost mimicking Adidas but it's missing a stripe I thought it was really sporty when I saw it that's kind of why I grabbed it and I knew that I had leggings that had two stripes on the side so I was like oh and that's a fit so yeah I got a mustard yellow tube top this is one of my favorite colors I think yellow is kind of become one of my favorite colors because it looks so nice on me definitely another summer top I did get like a red one I did get a red one last time I did a softball haul I like the way it fit I like that it didn't go anywhere when I was moving around and stuff so I was like let me get a mustard yellow and try to brighten up my wardrobe a little bit so I have some really cute pants that I plan to match with this and yeah it's gonna be cute now I did get a very glittery flashy tube top I thought that I could wear it when I whenever I do go out to like the clubs and stuff with my girls that it would just be a cute top if I don't always want to wear a dress to the club because that gets kind of annoying after a while and plus this year I made a promise to myself that I was gonna unapologetically slay so if I want to go to the grocery store in this top I will and the last one that I got is this knit cream tube top that is so cute. I love, love, love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. And I love that it's kind of on the more, I guess you could say a longer crop top side. I would definitely wear a bra underneath it just cause there's no elasticity around the top or bottom of the shirt. So it has the potential to slip, if that makes sense. Whereas this type of tube top has the elastic around it. So it's more of a chance that it'll stay up. But yeah, you guys, that is all I have for you. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have left the links to all these items as well as Zoffo's website in the description box below. Again, if you didn't listen the first time and you have watched this full video and you have not subscribed yet, girl, we're gonna have to have a talk, okay? But not today. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'm sure the rest of Beauty Gang will forgive you as I will. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what your favorite piece was out of all these clothes in the comment section below. And until next time, guys. Bye. <laughs> so extra.